Hello, and welcome to PMG TV. I'm Chris Marsis, and on this episode, I'm going to show you how to build yourself a external OSX install disk. Now, back in the day, we used to get our install disks as actual CDs, but of course, Apple has now more or less gotten rid of CDs and DVDs and pretty much any other optical disk. And so we now have the option of either going to the internet or creating ourselves a uh, boot disk. Well, we can do this over the internet, but of course the problem with that is you've got to download OS X's installer every single time, which is five gigabytes and typically slow and just kind of a pain in the butt. And if you don't want to sit there for you know multiple hours on end, it's just a lot faster to do it once and then create for yourself a external OS X installer. Now we can do installers all the way back to 10.6 this way and we, we uh, are going to get uh, the program I'm going to show you uh, to make this installer is saying that it's going to become compatible with uh, Yosemite which should be out sometime very very shortly. So what's the first thing we got to do and that is we got to have to go into our disk utility and we're going to have to get some sort of a external media that we can use. Now, in this case, I picked a 500 gigabyte hard drive that I've got uh, connected up to the system. Uh, and as you can see, I've only used about 50 gigs. It's pretty small at this point, and I have a lot left over. Now, the utility I'm going to talk about that makes the actual installation disk wants to have uh, the ability to erase the partition and reformat it and get it all, all set up. So we don't want to erase my all the information on TSO. I want to keep that information there. So what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to create another partition. It's very simple. We click on the physical hard drive, not the logical, the physical one. We come up here to partition and we just smack the plus key, which gives us now two partitions. And when we click on the second partition, we can go ahead and label it something like OS X, for example. And then we have the ability to decide how big we want it. In this case, I only need about 20 gigs or so. So there's no reason to get any get crazy with it. So then we tap apply and it says really, really, really. And you say, yeah, it's OK. You can go ahead and do that. It's no problem. And then it's going to go through this process, which we will speed up through the magic of editing. All right, and there we have it. So now our physical drive is broken into two logical drives, one here and one there. So now that we've got two logical hard drives or two partitions, we can now go ahead and get this out of our way, and we can begin the process of creating the installation disk. Now, the installation disk is actually created off of the OS X installer. So you are going to have to have the OS X installer on your hard drive. So make sure that you have in your applications folder the install OS X Mavericks or Leopard or Snow Leopard or whatever it is that you're doing. But in this case, we're going to look at Mavericks and make sure that this little file is installed. If this file is not there, then you're going to want to make and get yourself into the App Store and you're going to want to go into your purchases and download it if you already own it or uh, purchase it if you don't. Yeah, but we've got to have that. So you got to wait through the long download at least once. As long as you have that file on your uh, computer somewhere, we can then begin the process of creating the install disk. And we do that first by going to Google. And we're going to say that we want to find disk maker X and there we have it right at the top of our list when we click on disk maker X we're gonna be taken to a website which gives us a utility we can download right there that will then help us create the installation disk so we click on this utility and we download it and through the magic of editing it pops up so there's our Disk Maker X. It's going to ask us, what do you want to do? Do you want Lion, Mountain Lion, or Mavericks? And we're going to say, in this case, we want Mavericks. So we'll go ahead and click on that. 
And it says, hey, I found a copy of it in the applications folder. Do you want to use this? And you're like, yeah, that's totally fine. And then it says something like, okay, what kind of disk do you want to use? Do you have an 8 gigabyte USB thumb drive or do you have something else? In this case, we have something else. We're using that uh, external hard drive. So we're going to say, click on another kind of disk. Of course, it's looking down the line and there's the OSX drive we created. And we're going to choose that disk. And it says, warning, the whole content will be erased, which is what we knew. This is why we created that second partition there, the OSX partition. And we say, yep, that's fine. Go ahead and erase it. And it's going to say, all right, we need to ask for administrator. And you say, yep, that's fine. All right, we've got a dialog box here asking for our uh, admin credentials. Just go ahead and punch that password in, whatever it happens to be, and go ahead and OK it. Oops, let's try that again. There we go, and OK it, and let it continue about its business. All right, there we are. We now have our OS X Mavericks uh, install disk, and I would urge you to make a donation. It's a uh, software that's well worth the uh, effort and the money. Uh, and at this point, uh, we basically can quit. And that's about all there is to it for making the startup install disk. Now, obviously, in order to make this work, you're going to uh, restart the computer. You're going to hold down the option key. And uh, you're going to get a, a list of hard drives that is going to pop up through the center of the screen. Once those uh, hard drives have popped up, you're going to find a hard drive in there that's OS X install disk, blah, blah, blah. And there it is. You'll click on that one, and that will bring you into the standard installer where you will have utilities and install and also backup from Time Machine and a couple other minor things. Uh, if you need to, at that point, you could then wipe the hard drive uh, that you want to install onto and then click the reinstall button and get Mavericks on there. That would then give you a completely clean, uh, brand new drive. Uh, or you could attempt to run the Apple uh, disk utility and do any diagnostics on the hard drive, etc., um, and then do the install. Uh, but basically, at this point, you're pretty much ready to go. Once the installation is done, which takes about 30 to 40 minutes, depending. Uh, obviously, this is 10.92, so you will need to upgrade uh, and do the standard software upgrade stuff and get you up to the most current, which is at this time, 10.95. So I hope that that's uh, given you a little bit of help and uh, that you'll find that uh, this is a good little tutorial. Uh, obviously, I'm always available at the website and or uh, telephone call. Please feel free. Have a good one.